Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all can call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Time Dilemma. Last time we left off, it seemed like we were playing VLR a little bit, and we saw the consequences of both our actions there. And uh, so I think we can clearly say here that, what's his name, Carlos has the ability to jump just like Sigma and Phi. At least I would think so anyway. And I tried using the various information we got, like Sean and the eight-digit number we got, but that does, those don't work either, so we'll figure it out eventually what we need to do. So, let's just go ahead and start these Force Quit box fragments with each team, starting with C Team. Because, you know, that, that was a little weird. I mean, they they mentioned that like the very beginning of this LP, in the very beginning of the game, these boxes in the, each of these rooms, and it's like, what the hell does this even matter? So force quit C, and then we'll do force quit Q and force quit D once we get there. But I I am very interested in knowing what the hell this is gonna do, or even where this takes place on on the um, on the flowchart. I'll check afterwards. Enjoy my ass! Well, at least everything went well. We now know that QT team and DT team are safe. Oh, so the votes were balanced. You mean from back at 1330? I'm pretty sure that's the moment. So, what time is it now? Uh, zero, 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 0003. Does that mean we're in the new year? That the time on this watch is just right? I guess so. Whoa, 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 but wait. What if time ended up going in reverse? What are you talking about, Junpei? Huh, I, um, I just thought that maybe that was the case. So, uh, what do we do now? This is becoming a regular thing. Wanna play hoops? There aren't any balls. We can use Gab. Junpei, you're really... Then how about that box? Wait, are they seriously considering playing basketball now? I mean... Seriously, what, what the hell is this thing? A force quit box. I know that. I'm asking what exactly it's going to end. Whatever it is, we can't do anything unless we have the password. Hmm. A password. Huh. What is it, Carlos? I feel like... Uh, I can almost remember. What? The password to open this box. How do you know? Just, just shut up for a second. I think the password has to be... Wait a minute. Okay, you know what? I think because that, like, this little thing happened, I think of those various segments where something else could happen with Carlos, I think they just opened up for us. They probably just unlocked. Now, the thing is, we do not know the password. I mean, I can put in, you know, the classic whatever, and that's not going to work. Um, so I'm just going to go back, see what the hell they say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let's just see if my little theory is right. Ah, uh, damn it. It's right there on the tip of my tongue. So it kind of just ends right there, huh? All right. Now let's say I'm going to take a look at the flowchart here. So where does this... T I'm assuming it takes place on the left side. No, I was wrong. Never mind. So wait, where... Whoa, hey. That's where I'm at? Hmm. 
Right there in tip. No, wait, that. Wait a minute. Where the hell? What? Where is it? <laughs> See, I was kind of hoping, like, you know, maybe. Because he had, like, he had that moment of, huh, clarity, that maybe, like, something like this opened up, but. I don't see anything that is opened. Unfortunately. Wait, I want where the I just want to know where it, where is it? Oh, hey, hey! Wait, no, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me go back there. That's the AB game, right? What the hell is that? What was that little? Yeah, why, there was an exclamation mark. That's usually not there unless something's new, right? What if we're about to find out, I guess. Maybe? Hello? Still loading. Did she get bullied a lot? No. no. And, and notice how there's... It was just... Well, not many people... I can't skip this. Friends. There's like no music. What the hell? The thing is descended from the heavens again. Is that his consciousness, like literally? Uh, where? You okay? okay. It is. Is this before the A B B game? What? Okay. Uh, should I keep going? Yeah. I always saw her sitting in the corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I... I decided I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her if I could. Huh? Then one day, her beloved rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schooler who was having fun. She went to their hut, crying, and apologizing over and over to them. How... How, how do you know that? Did Akane tell you? No. Then... why? Uh, so, gonna stay silent, huh? Uh, fine, I uh, guess there's no point talking about this. Let, let's just get these votes. No, wait! <sighs> Something's weird. Hello, Puck calling Kettle. Whatever I chose in the AB game, it was always the worst outcome. What are you talking about? Junpei? Carlos? I am loving this right now. I Because, like, I think, like, things are finally coming together, finally getting put together, and it's going to be insane. Ah. I think... I understand. I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. Shift? Space-time human internal fluctuating transfer. A phenomenon where one's mind crosses space and time. Akane, is... is that...? The power we used just a year ago? The, the ability to send and receive information through the morphogenetic field. It's a simpler version of this. You're saying the me here right now came from a different history? Well, your consciousness, at least. Say you go back in time to when your parents met, using a car as a time machine. Know, know what movie I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, of course I do. The high school protagonist almost gets it on with his own mother and tries to get his awkward dad, dad to marry her. That's the basic plot, right? Notice how they have not said Back to the Future, because I'm sure they did. All those companies, what did they... 
come running to the studio and say, Copyright, you can't say it. Yes, the story revolves around a boy. We'll call him M. Marty! Now, according to the plot, he's successful at getting his parents to marry. But history ends up changing slightly. For the better. Upon returning to his own time, his father's a famous science fiction writer, and he's rich. And they're all happy. Huh. I guess the hierarchy was switched when his dad punched the neighborhood bully. Biff. But, did you notice something odd about the movie? Just what happened to the M who lived in that fancy house? Oh no, don't do- no, come on, don't make me start thinking of logic regarding Back to the Future. Oh no, God! That is a pretty awesome analogy though, because it's like... <laughs> oh, you know, I'm, I'm not- I can't say- I know, no, I, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna bring in Zero Escape Logic into Back to the Future, because I love that movie, I love that series. But just continue on. Huh. Well, now that you mention it. I, I, I don't think the M from that history appears in the movie at all. There are two overarching types of stories about time travel. The first type states that there is always only one in history. Meaning, if someone changes the past, that previous past is subsequently erased. The other type is where multiple histories exist. This is the many world interpretation. One of the more widely believed hypotheses on multiverse theory. The world and universe split it into branches as a result of one's decisions. It's a setup where each branch is able to exist in some form. Okay, so back to the movie. First, let's consider what happens with a single path history. In this case, do you know what M is doing back in his own time? What he's doing? Committing a form of murder. Murder? Well, think about it. Uh, the M who grew up in that fancy house. Let's call him M2. M2 should have had a variety of amazing memories from his life. Maybe he met a really cute girl he liked, or was a winner of a contest. The possibilities are endless. All of those memories. Every single one was overwritten when, when M came from another history. Ha -ha. But the history that disappeared was poor M's. You're right, that's true. What was erased from existing in time was M's history. But the only memories that M retained uh, are those of when he was poor. So, in effect, the life that M2 lived through was overwritten. All because of the actions that the protagonist M took to save his own. I'd say that that's the same as killing someone, don't you think? Next is the multiverse hypothesis. In this situation, M2's life is never erased. Instead, a mystery remains. So, where did M2, the, the version who remembers being well off, up and disappear to? Where he went. This is what I think. On the same day that that protagonist M used the time machine, M2, for some reason, did the same as M and went, went back to the, the past. But but then he did the exact opposite of M. The opposite. Mhm. Mm he stopped his dad from punching the bully. 
So, when he returned to his own time, it was the world poor M had lived in. Are you saying that they pretty much switched places? It would keep everything consistent. That's depressing. What, what is? Uh, M2's situation. Well, he ends up getting the bum end of the deal regardless of the f which scenario happens. Damn, that's pretty unfair. Yes, that's true. But, uh, this is rather difficult to say, Carlos. Your case may be exactly the same. What? Your consciousness could have come from another history and taken over this body. In exchange, the Carlos who was here originally... No. Another me is in the other history? Uh, there's, there's no use in getting upset. You simply need to accept that that's what shifting is. I feel like this this game just ruined Back to the Future for me. But wait, wait, Akane, how did you know that, that Carlos is, is able to shift? He mentioned before that he knows which path has death at the end and which is safe. I just, just sort of knew too. <laughs> An arsonist set fire to our house when I was 18. My par parents didn't make it, though I was able to get my sister Maria out. But, but we didn't make a clean escape. Maria fell into some sort of coma. They f first thought that she had carbon monoxide poisoning. But that wasn't what it was. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. We believe this is what your sister has. Maria is either receiving large amounts of information from the morphogenetic field, or her consciousness can cannot stop its jumping between multiple histories. And she's like us. Yes, uh, though it's slightly different. In, in Maria's case, that power is, is running rampant within her. That is what the, the reverie syndrome really is. What? If a way can, can be found to control the ability, then she could recover from it. Is that not true? I see. That's good. So there's some hope for her. Hey, Carlos. When you dove into the fire to save your sister, you were able to hear her voice, right? Yeah. What was? Carlos, I'm here! I'm over here! Maria! Maria! You! Just stay there! I'm co coming to get you! No matter how you look at it, there was no way her voice could reach me. But I realized exactly where she was, and I found her quickly. That was the first time. After that, I could hear victims crying out in the fires, and which way would lead to my death. This, this ability we have is triggered by intense danger. When we're threatened by a crisis, it's easier for us to access the field. I get it. So that's what it was. So, Carlos, Junpei, shall we shift? Huh? What? There's really no reason to play the A-B game. Well, as it stands right now, 
It's incredibly likely that both of you will decide to pick Ally. But instead of going through that, it'd be better to shift to another history. It'll, it'll work! The three of us will definitely be able, able to do it! But only... if we find our lives in danger. What, what do you mean by danger? Oh, you know, she's gonna take the fire thing or freezing signature and bash your freaking heads in! at all, are you? That's not true. Here, look. My heart's pounding so fast. Do you want to check it? Uh, Two minutes until detonation. Uh, hey, it's kind of getting down to the wire here. Wait, am I, am I supposed to make a decision right now? Uh, shit! Okay, uh, uh, we're just gonna have to go for it. Jump, jump to the same history I am. The same history? Which one? Think! There's a history when we didn't get all, all ones on the dice rolls. The moment right after that. Insane? We're just gonna get ourselves killed. It's okay. I have a plan. Thirty seconds until detonation. All right. I trust you, Junpei. Ah, damn it! Junpei, if we die, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, let's go. I mean, you really can't kill somebody if you die, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice little, uh, it was a nice little joke there. So there you go. That that was ooh, no 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 not over there. That was like the first time we actually really shifted and like changed something. That was that was cool. Ah, uh, I'm I'm liking how this whole shifting thing is working out now. Let me, let me check out the flow here. Oh, and actually, look. They're all grayed out. That means I have to go back to C-Team. Wow. It's starting to get filled in. Oh, but at the same time, that means that the game is kind of wrapping up. Is In a certain sense, it's kind of getting there. Oh, man. It's okay. I'm really enjoying this right now. I've been enjoying it, so... Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will go ahead and, um, we'll go ahead and, uh, what the hell was I going to say? Brrr, um, <laughs> go in this fragment and see what happens. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Zero Time Dilemma. See you guys later.